Hey, my super beautiful, lovely souls. I'm bringing you a reading for Gemini, divine female, and an Aquarius divine male. And we're going to jump right into this. And you guys have been watching my videos. You'll know how I like to do it. I like to get information about both sides. Down the middle, we sort of see how they come together, what's going on in the relationship, all those good things. And um, we'll pull a card at the end for advice. And that's Energy Oracle, in case you're wondering. So if you guys have not yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell. And if you make any requests to me, please make sure you have done that, okay? Or I will not be able to uh, fulfill your requests because you won't know when the video is popping up, okay? So please make sure you're subscribed if you're asking me for a request, okay? Um, and if you want to see this in reverse, please let me know. Comment your astrology signs and your sexes, and I'd be glad to do it for you. Just give me at least one or two days to get the video up. Okay, so Gemini, Divine Female. What's going on with our Gemini, Divine Female? Okay, so I feel like she is definitely either in some type of energy where she wanted justice or the truth and she just isn't getting it or she changed her mind and she was going to stay um, maybe in this, okay? I feel like her energy is more like a nurturer, more like she plans for the future, steady, secure, stable type of woman. You know, she likes to lay her foundation. She likes to have a good ground to, groundwork to do. Like, you know what I mean? Like a, a good solid foundation. I'm feeling like in her life, she's more practical, a saver. She's going to save her money. She cares about her career. I feel like she just knows what needs to be done and does it very resourceful woman okay but something's going on here with this justice card to me that's saying truth is coming out but maybe you didn't take the action that you needed to when you found something out okay sometimes it's legal troubles i'm just throwing it out there so i don't know if you've had legal troubles or your twin flame had legal troubles and maybe you helped them out of it with money okay but to me this is saying and i also don't know if you were divorced to me this is saying um sort of separation or um the truth coming out about a relationship or knowledge that you needed to gain over something when judgment is in reverse to me that's saying that there is no new cycle starting okay there's a delay all right or there's you're ignoring your instincts or you're ignoring your intuition about something that may have had to do with your twin um and we'll get back to that because i'm interested here in that um, but I do need some more cards out so I could I can sort of paint this picture a little bigger. Um, so yeah, let's let's check out what's going on with our Aquarius. All right. So I mean I don't know. I'm gonna go back to the legal part of this. I don't know if he's away. Okay. I don't know if he got in trouble. I don't know if he got put away. Okay. I don't know if you tried to help him. Um, and you're now waiting for him. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there, guys. It doesn't have to resonate with everybody. It's what I'm channeling in. Okay, um, either that or he has ghosted you. He is not around. He is in a state of arrest where he's not active. He's not doing anything. Okay, he is um, sort of resting himself, like re doing like a re-up kind of thing where he needs to like take time to be alone and quiet and not date and do nothing at all. Um, and I don't know if that's part of his spiritual journey because to me sometimes with that card, that's meditation. So he may be in part of his spiritual journey here, okay, where he's working on himself. I feel like he's in a younger energy, okay, he might be a little bit more immature, um, maybe needing for some growth and those sorts of things. But I do feel like all in all with this relationship, he does did or does want to see it with a happy ending, okay? I feel like he wants to plan for the future, that he sees this as, you know, happy days, kind of like, we're all together, we're a white picket fence, okay? Where you get your wishes, where your wishes sort of come true, and you um, are together, okay? I'm feeling like with that energy, to me, that's saying you're, he's working on himself or working on... Um, bettering himself or with money or his job or job and money or promotion or something like that. He's working on that, okay? He would be the kind of person that worked very hard to please his family. I don't know if he's saving to have a family, okay? That's another thing that could be there. Also could be a student to me. And sometimes to me this is saying engagement. Like you're going to get engaged or you were engaged or you want to get married, okay? So that's a little picture of what's going on here. So with this, I'm again, I'm a little confused and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure it out though. So I don't know if there's pregnancy here or 
there was a pregnancy or there's motherhood or there's children involved here this could be a child too I don't I'm not sure if that is part of this okay to me I'm feeling like it could be and if y'all are together and not in separation and you've come back together you could be maybe expecting children okay I do see that this is the goal here marriage children okay to me this is a, a, also father figure sometimes the mother figure um, so yeah, I'm feeling like that could definitely be what's happening here in this union. I feel like, yeah, it could work out really well. Absolutely. This is definitely not a separation video. Okay. Well, I'm going to say this. I feel like anything that y'all may need to work on with justice, to me, that is sort of like owning your own truths being true to yourself okay accepting when things need to end and renew okay sort of um answering a higher call whatever your higher purpose is purpose that you may need to adopt you may need to come into okay it could be too that you know you need to um open up yourself spiritually that is part of it okay so our divine female gemini that could be part of it could be that she maybe made some mistakes in the past and she's trying to rectify them, but she's having some blocks. She's having a hard time rectifying them, okay? It could just be that in all general energy, she's a very fair and balanced woman, but occasionally she lets things go or she lets people take advantage of her or she has a hard time with change, okay? That could be just general energy, okay? That's how I'm trying to piece this together. With him, I'm feeling like he may be the kind of person that takes his time. He's slow to do things. He's slow to love. He's slow to grow. Okay? He may be um, somebody who needs a lot of rest or um, a, a, a periods of, of inactivity and rest. Okay? He may be recovering from some type of illness or some type of uh, bad situation. Okay? And he is an in renewal energy. I feel like... He does need his alone time, okay? He's going to need that. As he is in this relationship, he needs to be um, in a space maybe sometimes by himself where he can maybe go away or he can get away from his family or his, his, his obligations and rest his mind and, and give himself that peace that he needs. Aquarius is notorious for that. They need it. Okay, and Gemini has to be okay with that if this is all, all going to work and stay solid, okay? But what he needs to do is he needs to get his time. There needs to be compromise here. When he has his time for rest and relaxation and all that, he needs to give himself 100% to his family, and I feel like that's exactly what he would do, okay? But he can't take off for, like, hours and hours at a time, no communication, or days at a time. That can't be, okay? That's not going to work. When you have a family and you have um, children or whatever you're, you're working towards, okay? But I do feel like he will give everything he has to his family. I feel like this is his number one goal, is what he wants, what he wants to work towards okay I do feel like there's children or will be children this definitely is a is a very nice very good divine union I think it will work very nicely I feel like these energies pair up very very well okay I feel like it's emotionally balanced I feel like it's very nurturing and nurtured I feel like this is mother and father energy okay I feel like they definitely will accomplish things together and set goals with one another. I feel like the all in all aspects are they want their uh, independence, but they want to come together and be together as well. Okay. I feel like financial independence would be a big thing for both of them. They would each have to have their own money. Okay. I feel like they wouldn't want to rely on each other at all, but they could provide for each other and to each other. Okay. I get a sense of that. They both would want to have a life where they didn't have to struggle and they would have more luxuries than hard ships okay that's what I'm feeling I think this is really nice guys I think this is a nice pairing here okay to me it's saying that if there's any ego you just need to let go of ego if there is any instability with emotions you need to get a handle on those emotions okay you can't bottle things up you need to let them out at the right time um, somebody asks you you know what's wrong um, and you're feeling like you don't know how to talk about it you, you need to kind of come to terms with that and let it out okay um, and yeah, any issues with ego, ego is not good in 
relationships okay so and that's like just feeling like you know you're a little bit better than the person you're with or you do more than the person you're with um, or you're a little bit prideful okay so it's gonna have to be swallowing pride might be a message here for these two okay so let's get um, a card from the beautiful energy oracle and it's going to be appreciation so i feel like these two will definitely appreciate each other they will appreciate all the things that the other one lacks that the other one will make up for i feel like they're going to teach each other a lot they're going to learn a lot from each other okay i feel like they definitely will have um you know a lot of good within this relationship i feel like um you know like when you look back on other relationships and you don't think there was very much that you could have said you appreciated or learned or, or anything like that i feel like this is so divine that it's unlike that i feel like this is more like this is unlike anything that either of them have ever felt before if that makes any sense guys i mean when you really value and appreciate the person you're with i feel like it just ties you to them tightly like it makes you just have like new found like feelings right if that does that make any sense guys i just feel like it's showing gratitude like you'll have to show each other gratitude okay like you'll have a sense of enjoyment with each other same same thing like with that other card with the independence i was talking about um sort of celebrating each other celebrating your accomplishments together um you know realizing your blessings that you'll really that you'll have within each other if that makes any sense this is a good union. Definitely a good union. Okay, guys? Let me know if you like this. And if you'd like to see it in reverse, just let me know. And many, many blessings to you all. See you guys in the next reading.